Hello and welcome to my live streamed initial test of Realism Overhaul and the RP0 Career Tech Tree in Kerbal Space Program 1.0.4. This was just getting my feet wet and testing the integrity of the install. This is a substantially more difficult scenario than my Realism Overhaul in KSP Beta series because it includes Kerbal Construction Time, Test Flight, Persistent Rotation, and Reaction Wheel Saturation. The tech tree has also been redone, so I can't follow the same path I did in the beta series. So I just wanted to test things out and make sure that the install I had wouldn't crash every five minutes. So that's the goal of this. I decided to live stream this test to solicit advice for dealing with the mods I'm not familiar with, and you'll see that play out during this test. The original streams were on August 2nd and August 5th, and they've been edited for YouTube. By the way, you'll notice me choosing hard mode in a minute, and I should point out that I know RP0 was balanced for normal mode. I just wondered how long I could go before hitting a brick wall by choosing hard mode. Anyway, here we go with the original commentary. But I'm going to start off with RP0, and that's career mode with realism overhaul. And so I don't think I've, yeah, uh, I don't know how this is going to work, we'll see. So career mode, and so we'll say um, just RP0 career. So this is sort of like my Realism Overhaul in uh, uh, series in 0 .90, except this got to be 1.0.4 now. Yeah, I don't know if RP0, a lot of stuff is not compatible with RP0, so. Okay, so we're going to go through the settings. Um, I'm not going to allow reverting flights. Uh, I'm not going to allow quick loading. Missing crews do not respond. Uh, no auto hire. No entry, per no, we'll have entry purchase. Uh, no um, allow stuff, who cares. Okay, starting funds. Uh, I think I'll stick to 25,000. That's fine. And we won't have any starting science reputation. I don't know, if, uh, should we modify these things? What, what's hard like? Well, I'm gonna give myself 25,000 starting funds and leave everything else like this, maybe. I don't know if that's gotta be too hard with the RP0 stuff, but uh, let's start off with it. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff. Alright, I need to choose a preset for Kerbal Construction Time, and we're gonna use the RP0 preset, whatever that means, and I'm gonna spend my upgrades. So I'm not playing music right now because I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to explain. Are there dates in RP0? Uh, what do you mean by date? Uh, I'll show you the tech tree in a second, Ernim. Okay, so uh, we're going to have. Okay, I've I haven't used uh, Kerbal Construction Time ever before. We've got 16 points available. Uh, we can buy points using funds, which I can't afford. And uh, VAB upgrades. Seems like it's important to get VAB upgrades, right? Uh, I don't know uh, what this means. Hold on, let me deal with Tac Life Support before that. Okay, uh, Tac Life Support is enabled. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, well, spend, 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 oh, there's a rate 3. I, I don't even know what the difference between these are. I should, probably should have read the, okay, well, let's spend, 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 R&D, spend, spend. Points per second? Yeah, it looks like points per second, but I don't know how many points per second I want. I guess more is better. I like, I, I, I'm clear about science per day. That I understand, uh, but that seems like a measly amount, so I don't know if I should spend anything on the R&D upgrades, since that doesn't seem like a lot of science per day. Um, that's all maxed out, it looks like. I can't spend any more on that. So let's just... Oh, now I can. Okay. You know, maybe I shouldn't have spent on the SPH at all. But uh, here, more on the VAB. All right. Build points. Build points. Yeah. Um, well, no time. Uh, no reason to time warp. Let's take a look at the tech tree. Is this the right tech tree? I assume it is. Whoa. There's a lot of. Whoa. Hey. There's a lot of stuff. Flight control. A lot of this is gonna say non-RP zero like that. Basic solids. So, uh, Aaronim, you see here it says uh, 1960 to 1963 here. Here it says nothing. Here it says nothing. Some of them tell you what dates uh, they they reflect. Some of them don't. So, anyway, we'll have to see. Okay, uh, here 1958 to 1962. But 
Nathan Kell said that it was possible to get to orbit just with the start thing. Yeah. Yeah, 1967. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yep. Uh, and Kerlox engines, obviously. Uh, so, uh, this, that stage combustion, mature orbital rocketry, basic orbital rocketry. Oh, they, they don't have the Kerlox hydrolox split that they had before. This is all very different from what I have in my Realism Overhaul series. Okay, but yeah, Nathan Kell basically dared us to try to get to orbit on just the stuff in the start bracket. So I think we're gonna do some sounding rockets for that purpose, and also so I can get my feet wet. Now I'm not gonna time warp to daylight because we're gonna have rockets to build anyway. Yeah, as early 80s or something like that. Yeah, for the RD-170. Wow, we're, we're already using 3.1 gigabytes of RAM, and I haven't even launched anything yet. Usually it spikes during launch, so this is going to be a little bit worrisome. Uh, we'll see how stable it is. Okay, so here's Kerbal Construction Time. This install does not have RVE stuff, no. I couldn't fit that in... not on a long shot. <laughs> uh, uh, here, uh, I, I created the mod... Uh, here mod command. Anybody can use that command by the way so if you ever need to bring it up there it is. Okay I'm not gonna play music here because uh, for a little while because of what I'm going to be doing and it's hard to talk over it sometimes. Alright first flight we definitely need to pick up where the ram hogging is coming from. Uh, probably uh, the problem is with stock part revamp which is required by RP0 uh, you can't uh, have it prune out the stock parts if you want to use at SXT lax uh, stock extension which is also required by RP0 so yeah that's the problem if it if I could trim out the parts then it'd be easier uh, to fit everything in but it's Venn stock part revamp and uh, lax stock extension that are probably the most significant ones I uh, deleted some of the engines I had in my previous install mod no no RP0 mods here I have too many series for it to be just exclamation part mod exclamation point mod okay past the Carmen line well we'll eventually have to do that uncrewed launch new vessel vessel state okay so we'll pick this one up as well wait a minute crew is a separate one huh well or I don't know why it says crew here when it's uncrewed it shouldn't even have that Oh, well, anyway, I mean, with, you're going, doing uh, two gigabytes at the start, even with Soviet engines. Um, well, all I can say is my my situation is weird. Okay, we can only accept uh, three active contracts total, it looks like. All right, so let's see what kind of engines we've got. Uh, we'll take a look again. Maybe I'm missing some part pack that has a better controller, because all I've got is this sounding rockets avionics package. I, I guess I must have a part pack missing that uh, gives because this doesn't give real control all you can do with this is stage and then you're done so it's basically like controlling it with spacebar like uh, that uh, space shuttle that uh, um, which got Dark Chaos posted I think it was yesterday alright so this is how we are and you'll see avionics insufficient avionics because well yes that's this doesn't have any avionics so we'll have to figure that out Otherwise, I think uh, that's non-RO but RP0. This is RP0. That's non-RP0. That's non-RP0. This is this is basically what we need. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna build the rocket, and you guys gotta decide whether we can get anywhere with it. We've got batteries. We we don't really need a whole lot of battery, but because we're we're not able to control it, it's got 10 minutes worth of life here. Oh, uh, no, I don't use uh, uh, OpenGL, Aaronim. If you're using OpenGL, no, that's not something I do. Uh, yeah, we can't fit that on. Okay, not that we could uh, tell it to do the science anyway. Shall we retrieve it, or shall we just let it go? I think there's an uh, early test. We should just uh, launch it and let it go. Parachutes are too expensive at this stage. We don't know how this is all going to work out. Um... Procedural nose cone, protective rock. I like the protective ones. Uh, let's see, we'll need to tweak scale it quite a lot. 
And tweak scale is a must, I think, because otherwise you're gonna have stuff that doesn't fit the controller. Okay, I need to pick an engine. Oh, I, it looks like it's just this Air B sustainer. I have no idea why we get piston engines. I guess that's for the Beechcraft Bonanza. I don't know. Somebody must like this Beechcraft Bonanza. I'm not particularly fond of it. Oh, we've got boosters. We could slap some boosters on, but then we... I don't know if we can stage with it. And it doesn't last very long. How long does this booster last? This booster has 37.9 fuel. And it uses... 57 per second? Well, it lasts for less than a second. That's a bit weird, but okay. Alright, uh, there we go. That's that's pretty good uh, thrust weight ratio. 20 funds. I think we should mass produce these. Now, is it pressurized? Yeah, it's highly pressurized, the tank. We've got the fuels we need. This needs those three fuels. Wow, it's got three fuels. Do I have problems with OpenGL? Yeah, it causes artifact. It, it causes a lot of uh, graphical issues. And it also has, it drops my frame rates a bit. But mainly it's because of the anti it has It causes aliasing and I can't anti-alias with it on. Okay, um, I think that's a rocket. 30 funds, and actually the launch clap is 10 of those. What do you guys think? Good sounding rocket? All we have to do, uh, we'll have a contract fulfillment just by launching the thing. And uh, we, we have crewed things, and hopefully some uncrewed things. Uncrewed altitude record of 10 kilometers, and 350 meters per second. Okay, uh, where are you? Kerbal construction. Okay, that's R and D. That's that's test flight, I think. Is that okay? Uh, no, that's contract configurator. Okay, I've got too many mods. That okay? Build list. Okay, uh, settings. All right, that's that's still settings. All right, this is the um. VAB? Okay, okay, here's here's all of them. Alright. Alright, uh, yeah, warp to complete. Sure. Takes a lot of days. Took uh, 64 days. Okay, let's roll that one out. And warp to complete that. Wow, we have to do everything. We have to have it roll out and all. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, should we wait, warp to next, yeah, let's warp to next morning. We want our first launch to look good. Those are still building anyway. Okay, let's launch. So once I launch this, I'll have no control over it. We're just gonna ignite and see what happens. Hey, Gabite, we're launching a sounding rocket in RP0 and seeing how it works, if it works. And I'm not going to have any control in a sec. So so we're testing out a little system where you can see the telemetry all on your own, on your browser. Okay, so uh, if, we, if you want to look at the telemetry, this is the link. We'll, we'll try it en masse and we'll see how it works out. Okay. But uh, I'm going to drop the GUI and hold on. We're, we're in the 1950s. Uh, this is this is not right. Well, this this is more like the 18 here. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll go with this. Okay, are we ready? Okay, I'm going to assume that we're good, and so here we go with this test flight of this first sounding rocket. Okay. 
Ah, uh, signal power loss. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Okay. Well, that was realistic. Back to normal, thank you. Okay, hmm, hmm. Back to VAB. We could send a thermometer up, but we, we still wouldn't have any control. When do we get something that can actually control this rocket? Try launching the next inclined. Good, good, good point. That would be interesting. How do we adjust it on the launch pad, though? All I get to do is click launch, right? Let's see if we can do... We can at least stage it, maybe. We, we won't have avionics. No, we don't have any avionics. We can't use the fins. The problem is we don't have anything that has avionics. No, rotate on the clamp would have to be in the VAB, right? It'd have to be before we, uh, say, take it out to launch pad. Anyway, uh, let's see. We'll have to have the UI up for the other two launches so that we don't, uh, so at least we know how high it got. Well, let's, let's try a two-stage one. Heck. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, lead ballast to keep it from getting too, I, I want as much TWR as I can, actually. Okay. We'll just go with the redstone stripes again. ARB sustainer. No. That's that's all we've got really, except for these aerobees. Uh not the aerobees, the tiny Tims. And the tiny Tims don't last for very long. We're in too much early on, make it unstable. Um well uh we're going for multi stages, so early on we're not gonna have too much. I'm going for multiple stages because staging is all the control I've got. No. Um, what angle? 15 degrees? Sort of like that. I'm not simulating vessels. Let, let me just say that right out. There's not going to be any simulation. We're, we're either going to launch it or we're not going to launch it. Okay. Okay, so build list, VAB. Okay, we've got a beta coming up. Let's warp to complete on that. Oh, reconditioning launch pad. I don't even know. Uh, okay, so we have to recondition the launch pad too. Good thing we have rockets uh, being built along the way, so. Oh, that one isn't even starting yet. Oh, you want, you want fins just to stabilize it without avionics. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay, let's go to the VAB and throw in some fins then. And we'll uh, make a new beta on that. I thought you meant fins that could actually control it. You just want fins to stabilize it, huh? We got lots of fins, actually. We got more fins than we could possibly want. Uh-oh. If it'll let us get to them. Okay. Something's wrong here. I think I'm getting to the RAM limit here already. Three? Uh, let's go to... 75%. I wouldn't trust this. Nope. Nope. Center of lift means absolutely nothing now. Okay. Uh, hold on. That's not what I wanted to do. It's probably tweak scale. We'll call this beta 2. Taking us hundreds and hundreds of days to build these things. Pretty sure the the process for building early rockets didn't take quite this long. Do I use DirectX 11? No, I don't I don't use any of that stuff right now. Uh-oh. My uh, RAM just went down to 2.7 after being at 3.3. This probably means that something is going to go wrong, but 
I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a lot more RAM usage than I expected, honestly. Oh, no, I, I shouldn't. I, I don't need to do this. Uh, okay, VAB launch. This time I just want to see how high it goes, since we already know that this thing is going to be, like, doomed or something. Okay, uh, there's no SAS module or anything. Let's just uh, press spacebar and see what happens. Oh, it doesn't get very far. That's uh, 300 meters. I think model rockets probably can get higher than that. Okay, avionics unlocking controls. I wonder what test flight... Do oh, that's ScanSat. We've got test flight in here, and test flight should be making it uh, some engines unreliable, too. No, 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 no. The fins... Uh, we're building that one. That That's under construction, Bluegill. <laughs> We've got one with fins under construction. We've got Kerbal construction time. So uh, this is this is as hardcore as KSP gets, as far as I can tell. We've got Kerbal construction time. We've got uh, remote tech. We've got um, the the whole nine yards. Uh, and we're so here we're building them. Uh, there's one with fins that's coming up on beta two. Uh, after we try some other things out as well. Okay, so. We, we might want to get another... Well, it looks like it can only build two at a time. We really need a better VAB. We should definitely... I don't know if we can get some points to upgrade it at some point. Uh, I guess we have to just buy the points. It's the only way to get them. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with the other alpha. Let's go for the next beta. Uh, for the beta, which is a stage one. And then we'll get the one with the fins. Uh, let me have the VAB build a second one. Since we can do two at a time, I should at least queue up another one. Let's see, what are very... Let's, let's get a straight up and down one that has the fins. That'll be a fair variation. We gotta try out all the things. Okay, so we're gonna take the first beta out, and this one has staging. I don't even know if staging will work. So I hesitated to use Kerbal Construction Time before because... Well, it just seems to delay everything, and that's all that it does. Oh, game crashed. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna have to delete the mod to uh, make sure that this doesn't happen too much. Let's see. Um, I'm going to temporarily delete Kerbal Attachment System, Kerbal Inventory System, and um, what else can I, with uh, Reckless Abandon, delete? Hmm. Some of this, a lot of the stuff is required. Uh, so many nice things. Okay, uh, the Clocky Martin Space Shuttle main engine is probably has to go. So here we go. This is um, what I've got installed. I wish I could get rid of some of the stock extension stuff. They're completely useless, including, of course, my nemesis, the Beechcraft Bonanza. I really don't need that, but I have to figure out whether it's uh, how to extract it because that those folders are a little bit messy. Prop planes for all. I have no idea why do we even have a prop plane in a uh, realistic progression? Yeah, was the Beechcraft Bonanza essential to the space program in a way that I don't understand? <laughs> I mean, what what sort of realistic progression is this? I don't know. I don't understand it. No, I've dumped all the Telemachus parts. I needed RAM. Telemachus parts are gone. Mech chip parts are gone. Um, anything that I could get rid of the parts on. Stock extension truck. It's the loading truck parts that I don't want. I gotta delete half of that stuff. Okay, this should be interesting. Yep, this should be very interesting. Oh, we've got a... Oh, it, it sends a message every time the vessel is complete. Okay. That's information I don't really need. All right. So, yeah, okay, well, let, let's do it uh, scenic and we'll see what happens. Black and white again. No HUD. Oh, uh, let me throttle up, make sure everything's all right. Okay. 
Uh, and I'll have to remember to stage once it stops. Alright, let's see what happens. No! No, 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 no! Okay. Alright. Make a black brand replica. I, I don't do replicas. Uh, it's not as much fun. But, but, uh, I can stage. This is something I wanted to test. I can stage without avionics. No, this one was the non-fin one. But this had staging. So, okay. Uh, I tested that I can stage, which is important. If we ever want to do anything more. It'd be nice to have a version of Venz without the extra parts. Events isn't the it's stock extension lack stock extension that has uh, that has a lot of parts I really don't want. Uh, so let us roll that out, and while it's rolling out, let me get another one cooking. So what should we change this time? Reconditioning from all the crashes? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know if it needs to recondition without the crashes. I haven't experienced that yet. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, uh, let's just get rid of this for now. Um, start fresh. So, it seems like the Tiny Tim has a lot of thrust. Lots and lots of thrust. But it's going to use it pretty quickly and I have no idea. Okay, used to power anti-shipping missiles. <laughs> used as a kickstage on the WAC Corporal. But it doesn't last very long. Could be useful though. 18 kilonewtons is actually more than what the Airbnb sustainer has. And I think they're configurable. I think I can change how much how much oomph they have. Hey Teske. We're uh, messing around in uh, Realism Overhaul Career Mode 1.0.4, RP0, etc, etc, etc. With Kerbal Construction Time and all the all the craziness. We don't have avionics but so we can't steer the thing but we might be able to still launch it properly. Now Aeroby seems like the weakest thing we've got. Maybe if it's fatter it wouldn't be so so problematic. Maybe maybe a cone for this but then again these are actually about the same size so yeah I guess it should just be a cylinder. Okay, fuselage, yeah, that's a lot of TWR already, but it's so tall and thin. Let's see, yeah, the the whole center of lift thing just doesn't make any sense at all. But let's put some fins even on this portion, and then we'll put some fins down below as well. Okay, that works, that makes sense. Let's scale it down just a bit, because they're heavy, actually. This this will at least cover up the engine. I, I feel a little bit better about that. Never tried RSS, ROP0. You think you'll wait? Yeah. Well, I've already be do been doing it in uh, 0 0.90, so I guess I'm sort of a veteran but not with all this other stuff and they changed the tech tree completely on me the tech tree is completely different now okay um so let's have a tiny tim which doesn't do very much can we throttle let, let's say can we thr thrust limit the tiny tim a bit and by a bit i mean a lot it doesn't give us much delta v anyway seems like a horrible sort of kick stage. I don't know why they'd even use it. Well, heck, let's try this. Oh, wait. We've got a problem. What's with this negative thing? Not that. Not that. Ah, okay. These aren't priced properly. Okay, somebody drop a note to Nathan Kell that the procedural fairings aren't priced properly. Darn it. Okay, well, back to this adapt thing. And I sized it so nice, too. Oh, well. I what what is this tiny Tim booster for? To get off the ground, <laughs> it's not gonna. I've already thrust limited it, and it's not gonna last very long to get me off the ground. Jeez. 
I didn't think getting off the ground was that much of a struggle for a rocket. Now, what about those snubatrons? Uh, these guys. Let's say... Hmm. What sort of set? Whoa, this is big. That looks pretty darn convincing, actually. This tiny Tim bo booster actually says solid fuel. It's not properly configured for real fuels yet. Because real fuels now, the solid fuels are specified. Like this says PSPC, which is the specific fuel it uses. This tiny Tim booster hasn't been configured properly yet. This says PSPC. Doesn't admit to having anything going on. But it does have a high thrust weight ratio. Okay, um, let's do that with the Tiny Tim. Let's see what happens. Well, that's gonna have a lot of oomph. Beta 5. Alright, we've got some rockets. Uh, uh, okay, save and continue. Uh, we've got some rockets cooking. And we'll see how Kerbal Construction Time deals with those. Maybe I should try a lower difficulty setting, because this is, this is tough. But let's see, VAB rolling out. Okay, warp to complete. Okay, this has fins, people. This has fins. Well, I can't upgrade the BP per second yet, uh, apparently. So... Throttle up. Let's hear it. Let, well, let's see how this goes. I I don't think so. Okay, maybe going straight up is better then, huh? Well, this is why we test. Here we go. So again, I don't have any control right now. Yeah, you lost color. It is old-timey rocket. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's not a good idea. I think that actually got higher. Is that sort of a crater? We actually got a crater out of it? Huh, I didn't even notice that before. Okay. I think that actually worked better. <laughs> okay, uh, back to Space Center. Higher TWR? Yeah, I'm thinking of that. Let, let, let's build our next one with high TWR and fins. A slight tilt to make it spin. You want a spinning one. Okay, why don't we try one without spinning and one with spinning. And no staging. We'll try the Aero B. Uh, high t t TWR, let's say... Let's just say two. And we'll do one with fins, and, uh, with fins tilted and without fins tilted. So this is without fins tilted. And I'm going to scale that down, obviously. We don't need it very big this time. Okay, uh, so we'll call this, uh, let's just call it Gamma, Gamma, 1, and point to your nose, <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe, um, looks like resizing the fins doesn't change how long it takes to build them. Okay, and then we'll stage these at the same time. So there we go, uh, we'll call this Gamma 2. I mean, we're not. Uh, if it can stay straight until the fuel runs out, then I'll consider putting more than one Araby. 
then I'll make sense. Uh, did I build that one? Oh heck, we can build another one, just in case. All right. If you have any suggestions, feel free. Uh, we're 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 just messing around right now. I'll try anything. I'll try the point to your nose one too, but we've got a Q going here. We'll see about the oh, it doesn't. Oh, did I not do gamma one? Oh, I want to compare it to gamma one, so let's make sure that that's on there. Fat or bottom would help keep it stable. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Let me try. Let me launch a couple, and then we'll try uh, point your nose and fat or bottom. Sure. We've got test flight too. Uh, don't remember. Uh, uh, don't forget. I I don't know if it's doing anything though. It should be randomly making things fail, but I, I haven't seen that yet. Our engines seem to light just fine. All right. So um, test flight. Where are you? Oh, clicking this way goes this way. Okay. So test flight says it's got a whack corporal. And it says okay. I I, I I assume that means it's going to randomly fail that thing if it feels like it. Okay. It's not yet configured properly for all engines. Yeah, that's correct. But I thought it was uh, very well configured for realism overhaul. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not this engine. I don't know. We'll see. Mass in the front, lift in the back. Yeah, no, that's definitely the case. We, we checked the uh, center mass and center lift on this already, pointy pita. This is... This is all good on that. Okay, um, yep, all right. Uh, so there is no such thing as SAS, so let's just, I'll, I'll keep the, maybe I should keep the HUD up this time. Let's keep the HUD up. Okay, let's go. Okay, so that is that and Oh, nuts. Okay. Um, so, alright, so we need Ullage rockets on this, I guess. Uh, I, 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 I think fuel feeding was not good enough, or something. Either that or that actually happened, but I don't think it did. It was vapor in the feed lines. It's, uh, we, we need, we actually need those little things. The retro effect is uh, movie time. I put movie time in. Movie time is right here. See, I've got. Uh, I put it on uh, black and white film. Hot staging. Yeah, that. Uh, well, well, we'll see. Um, okay, let let me implement some of your other suggestions while I'm here. Hey, Dark Chaos, you're actually going to see stuff explode today. I can guarantee this. We are doing uh, sounding rockets in realism overhaul, and I don't have many. I don't even have avionics, so things will explode. Yeah, there will be explosions. So we we will use a procedural nose cone this time to make a pointy nose. Peat sounds. Oh yeah, sharp. Well, sharp is a little. Well, we're not going fast enough for sharp to be a problem. So, <laughs> so yeah, we can go with a sharp nose. We're not getting to the speed of sound yet. Actually, that'd be a thing to test while we're making cheap rockets. Uh, so this is going to be a sharp nose rocket, and we will call this Delta One. Seems appropriate. And we'll make a different nose shape. What does that sound? In what was that sound? I'm worried that something is going to crash on me. Okay, we'll make it round two like this. 